two, one. Welcome to Kids Church and I don't think I've turned the camera on properly because that little red light is not flashing. All right, let me just fix it and there. All right, let's try that again. Welcome to Kids Church and welcome to our front yard, which it looks like you're looking at very closely because the camera is pointed to the wrong spot. All right, let's just change that. Up a bit higher, a bit higher, a bit. That should about do it. All right, let's see if we can get that right. Welcome to Kids Church, and I am way too close to the camera, aren't I? That's what I can hear you saying. I will take two steps backwards. Okay, like I really should be getting the hang of this now. It never looks hard when Ben's doing this. Um, but I don't know where he's gone. He said he was going for a short drive and he's still not back. So, let's try this again. Welcome to my voice Green one? Oh, no, I don't think that was right. Oh, maybe it's that switch Ah, uh, okay. Must have been the switch. I must have just accidentally knocked that before. Okay. Hopefully now it's all good. There's a lot to, about this type of stuff that I don't know that Ben takes care of normally. Okay. Speaking of Ben, where is he? Okay, doesn't look like Ben's going to be back anytime soon. I'm not sure why he's gone to church. Although it is very exciting that we can go to church again. Even though it's a small number at the moment, it's going to be a whole lot bigger in a couple of weeks. And hopefully really soon we can start having kids church again. Which is what I am supposed to be welcoming you to. Now that I'm properly in the frame and you're not looking at our front yard and you're also able to listen and see us properly, let's see if I can welcome you. Welcome to Kids Church and welcome to your house and welcome to those birds and our front yard. 
it's really great to have you here. I really hope that I can get to see you at church sometime soon. But until that happens, we will keep on having our kids church online so that you don't miss out. Now today we've been learning, well last week we learned about being part of God's family and having parents and God giving us the gift of parents but also the gift of his own special family. This week we're going to look at how that family of God is also a bit like a body. Strange thing you might be thinking but Paul had a lot to say about it and he did a lot of talking about being like hands and ears and feet and eyes. So I think we might need to have a look about look at that and unpack that a bit more later on. But for now, I think as a body, if you want to use your body to dance, feel free. We should all go and listen to a song and praise God. So here we go. The body of Christ has many different parts, just as any other body does. Our body don't just have one part, they have many parts. Suppose a foot says, I'm not a hand, and so I'm not part of the body. Wouldn't the foot still belong to the body? Or suppose an ear says, I'm not an eye, and so I'm not part of the body. Wouldn't that ear still belong with the body? If our bodies were only an eye, we couldn't hear a thing. And if they were only an ear, we couldn't smell a thing. But God has put all parts of our body together in the way that he decides is best. A body isn't really a body unless there is more than one part. It takes many parts to make a single body. That's why the eyes cannot say they don't need the hands. That's also why the head cannot say it doesn't need the feet. In fact, we cannot get along without the parts of the body that seem to be the weakest. Together, you are the body of Christ. Each one of you is part of his body.
don't seek treasures that soon will be gone But you died for me once And I know this is true So with all of my life I'm living for Memory verse. There is only one Lord, and He is generous to everyone who asks for His help. All who call out to the Lord will be saved. Romans chapter 10, verses 12 to 13. Now, I want you guys to help me this time. There is only, and he is generous, who ask for, all who call out, will, Romans chapter, verses 2. If I were to draw a picture that would best describe what church is, I wonder what picture I would draw. In Romans 12, Paul says that God's church is like a body, a body with many different parts, and every part of the body is important. Let's see how a body works. A body needs a head. A head is where the brains are kept. The head does the thinking. The head sees... and hears, and smells. 
The head is a very important part of the body. But the head would be in big trouble if it didn't have a trunk to sit on. The trunk of the body is where the heart and lungs are. The heart pumps blood all around the body. And the lungs allow the body to breathe. Without the heart and the lungs, the body would die. But the trunk of the body would be in big trouble if it didn't have legs to stand on. The legs take the body to where it needs to go. The body needs the legs to sit, stand, jump and dance. But a body is more than a head, a trunk and legs. The body needs arms. The arms feed the body food. The arms give the body drink. The arms help keep the body warm. A body needs arms. A body is made up of lots of different parts. A head, trunk, legs and arms. And every part of the body has a very special job to do. No part of the body is more important than another part. All parts of the body are important. A body works well if each part of the body does its job. Now, in Romans 12, Paul describes church like a body, a body with many parts. And everyone in the church has a special, important part to play. Some people in our church teach us. Some people serve us by setting out chairs and serving us food. Some people welcome us and help us to get to know each other. Some people organise things and make things happen. Some people know who is hurting and helps them. Everyone in our church is important. We all have an important part to play in our church. No one is more important than anyone else, and no one is less important than anyone else. We're all part of the same family of God, so let's spend some time praying to him now. Let's say thank you to God for the many things that he gives us. Thank you for your word that we find in the Bible. Thank you for your son, Jesus, who saves us. Thank you for our church family who we can serve and grow with. Thank you for the Holy Spirit who guides us and lives inside us. Thank you for Kids Church where we can learn with our friends about you. Thank you for our parents who guide us. Thank you for the armour of God that protects us. And thank you for prayer that we can speak to you and you listen. And now let's ask God for his help. God, please help us to love others better. Please help us to remember we can always pray to you. Please help us to share your good news. Please help us to read the Bible. Please help us to always keep you as number one in our lives. And please help us to follow the plan that you have for us. Thank you, God. Amen. So, one more week down. One more week done. Learning yep. in about God's gifts to us. Yep. Week seven of gifts done and dusted. And it was kind of 
a gift of gifts. A gift of gifts, yes. And gifts that we can use to serve him. Yeah. We're all part of the one body. Yes, and we that can was all do very interesting different to things, out. yeah. Yeah. I don't think we actually have to be a hand or a foot. I think that might have just been an illustration. I think so. And I think like when people say, I'm all ears, I don't think that's what they mean. No, definitely no. not. No, that would be handy. But it was... <laughs> See what I did there? <laughs> handy. Yes. Yeah. So um, Paul was saying as well that not all of us are preachers. No, no. and Not all of us are apostles. No. no. Are apostles? Are apostles. Are apostles, yeah. <laughs> so... We don't expect to find lots of people with the same gift in the same church. So I wonder if the kids out there can maybe think about what special gifts God might have given them, what makes them them, that makes mm. it better for them to serve God yeah. in our church. And some of you guys are really good at talking to people. And some adults are really good at talking to people. And some adults are really good at music. And some of you kids are really good at music. And there's lots of different things that we can do because we're really quite good at them to serve God. Yeah. And I was going to read a bit of a Bible. Is that okay? That's why I have my phone in my hand. Oh, I'm okay. Just, I'm not expecting a call. Right. Fair enough. Okay. And it was from 1 Corinthians, which is where we've been looking most of today, and chapter 12. Mm -hmm. And it was just towards the end. And it says, together you are the body of Christ. Each one of you is a part of his body. So we know that each one of us, each one who loves Jesus, mm. is just as important as the other. Yeah. And whatever gifts we've been given to serve him is just as important. So the person who gets to do the putting away of stuff at church and the setting up and the people that meet you in the car park mm -hmm. are just imp as important as the people who are preaching or the people in the worship band at the front. Yep. Or the or, people who provide morning tea. Oh, yes. <laughs> but we're all serving God with our whole hearts. Mm. And in that way, we're all serving each other as the body of Christ. Yeah. And I know in the Bible reading that we did, it was saying that when one part of the body isn't working properly, then the whole church struggles mm. and someone needs to fill that gap. And a body works properly when all of those pieces are all together. So I think that's an extra good reason for us to think about the things that God's gifted mm. us with, because God's probably got a plan for you that involves serving him as part of the body of Christ. Mm. You said probably though. Oh, definitely. Sorry, mm. I shouldn't have said probably. Oh. <laughs> so God does definitely yes. have a plan for you and something that he's gifted you mm. with. Well, I think I might make myself another coffee. I had that coffee. Sorry about the confusion this morning, though, Sharon. Yeah, I don't know where you went. Well, I, 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 <laughs> I didn't put church. Yeah. But it was the wrong day because we filmed this yesterday and I forgot and I got really okay. confused. That's fine. You're forgiven. And, thank you. <laughs> and we will go to church again next week. But for now, I think we should go to a song. I think we should. Okay. See ya. Singing.